Hey, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm Olivia and I'm a gender affirming voice teacher. And if you are working on vocal feminization, you know that vocal health is really important to help keep your voice changes sustainable. So sometimes it can be easy to let practice fall by the wayside or kind of forget about the vocal health things. So in this video, I'm gonna share eight daily habits that will help continue to move you toward your goals. So let's get started. So number one is getting a good night's sleep. It's very easy to stay up too late on TikTok, okay? Watching Netflix, it's a real thing, okay? Um, but getting a good night's sleep is good for your vocal cords physically to get the, the rest they need. And then it's also just in terms of energy. So if you haven't had a good night's sleep the night before, uh, it's, you're a lot less likely to do the things that you want to get done like maybe that's practicing or um you know it's also harder just physically to you know work on things like breath support when you're tired and sluggish and you're kind of like oh your body it's hard to even lift your body into the right posture for using your voice so making sure you're taking energetic breaths and and, and low belly breaths that can be difficult when you haven't gotten a good night's sleep so I would suggest you start with this daily habit. Try to get a good night's sleep tonight. Uh, I know it's not easy because I, I struggle with it quite a lot, um, but if you can develop some kind of routine, so maybe you take a hot shower before bed, you do some lotioning, and then you read a chapter of your book before you get into bed, um, or meditation or doing something to help you kind of wind down at the end of the night, um, I find that that can be really helpful. Number two is staying hydrated. Now this is something I talk about a lot, but it's because it's very important. The vocal cords have a thick mucus that develops when they are, the vocal cords are dehydrated. So in order to thin that mucus and make the vocal cords easy to vibrate, we need to be hydrated. So um, think about drinking 64 ounces of water every day and know that coffee and caffeinated beverages can kind of dry you out. They're diuretics. So if you think, um, you know, you can think about replacing every cup of coffee that you have with a glass of water um, or kind of limit some of your caffeine intake. If you live in a drier climate, um, you can use a humidifier that can be really helpful for staying hydrated as well or even just kind of steaming in the shower or putting your head over a boiling pot of water. Yes, that's real. Um, that can be really helpful too. Number three is stretching. Now tension is a common theme that comes up with a lot of my clients and with you know, human beings on this planet Earth. Um, there's a lot of things going on in the world that uh, you know, can cause some tension in the body. So in order to be successful with vocal feminization, it's really important that you kind of loosen up, that you're able to, to release some of the tension that you're holding in your body. So one thing that's really great for that is just doing full body stretches. So whether that's doing some yoga um, here on YouTube or whether that's just doing your own kind of freestyle stretching, um, you know, and, and you can do that throughout the day too. If you have a job where you're sitting down a lot, you know, take, take a minute every 30 minutes to kind of stand up and, and stretch a little bit. And the more you do that, the more you're going to start to recognize, oh, I'm tense. I better kind of loosen that up uh, because it's it's easy to kind of not even know that you're, you're tensing up. Number four is meditation. So I encourage this for my clients because um, a lot of voice work has to do with kind of recognizing sensations in your body. So if you're not able to recognize those sensations, it's going to be more challenging. So when I say recognizing those sensations, I mean, you know, where do you feel your breath? How, how does your tongue move when you say that? Or can you feel a buzziness sensation? Those kinds of things in your body. So I suggest doing a body scan meditation. A body scan meditation is basically you're, you're bringing your attention to every point on your body. 
So this is another way to kind of identify, do I have tension here? Can I relax that? What, what do I actually notice about that, that feeling in my thigh or, you know, how my breath moves as I'm breathing? So this is kind of a, a two for one, you know, you're thinking about your sensations and you can also start to release some of that tension. Number five is vocal warmups. I'm sure that's not a big surprise to you, but vocal warmups are really important for the health of your voice. So when you think about what we're actually doing in vocal feminization, we are creating new habits uh, around how we use the voice. So vocal warmups are, are no different. We are basically, we're training the vocal cords to come together more easily, and we are decreasing tension in and around the larynx, uh, which is the cartilage structure that houses our vocal cords. So try doing SOVT exercises. So these are exercises like humming, like blowing bubbles, um, and humming into a cup of water or a lip trill. I've got some other videos on, on SOVT exercises that you can check out, but definitely continue to do your, your vocal warmups. Um, and I would say several times a day. So it doesn't have to be for a long period, but maybe for a minute or two, a few times a day. And again, this will train your vocal cords to vibrate more healthfully. Number six is eating healthy foods. So our vocal cords are a part of the body and our bodies can be affected by the food that we eat. Now, some people will say that dairy is something that affects their, their vocal cords, that maybe they feel more mucousy or, you know, like they have to clear their throat a lot. And others like myself uh, struggle from acid reflux. So for me, um, it really bothers my voice when I'm getting into some cups of coffee and when I'm getting into tomato sauce or garlic, uh, citrus. A lot of those things will irritate my, my acid reflux and cause my voice to feel not so great. So it's important to recognize if you have some triggers that bother your voice. So you might not have anything uh, that bothers you, but in general, um, you know, eating healthily will make your whole body feel better. Um, so really we're, we're just thinking about how can I feel the best in my body? Um, and how can I avoid having any sort of side effect or, or symptoms that don't feel good for me and my voice? So just notice if there are things that come up for you and you can adjust your diet for what works for you. Number seven is vocal awareness. So as you go on and on in your journey, you're going to become more and more aware of your voice. So just like when you're, you're doing your stretches and, and you're doing your meditation, you're becoming more aware of your body. And in the same way, you're going to start to feel more awareness of how you're using your voice and what your voice feels like after doing different things. So for instance, if you go out drinking one night and you go to a really loud bar and you're kind of really raising your voice, you might notice that your voice is really tired or hoarse, or maybe you even lose your voice the next day. So a couple things are happening there, right? So if you go out and you're, you're having drinks, that's one thing that's drying you out, right? Um, and number two, you're in a really loud setting. So being in settings where you're really pushing your voice a little too hard, um, that's something to start to notice. How am I using my voice when I'm in this situation that I end up with a, you know, losing my voice the next day? That doesn't seem like a healthy thing for me. So see if you can notice in the moment, oh, I'm pushing a little bit too hard from, you know, um, tr trying to be heard here. So I got to make sure that I'm projecting in the right way so that I'm not damaging or, or kind of hurting my voice here. And of course, practice, you knew, you knew it was coming. Practicing is really, of course, important for vocal feminization, especially that because we're, we're thinking about creating these new habits. So I'm not talking about three hours of practice a day. I'm just talking about many short practices because the more you can bring your attention to what you're doing, the more you can practice um, throughout the day, that can help you to create this habit a lot quicker than just kind of cramming one day a week or something like that. So I hope you got something out of these eight daily habits. Um, 
this is not meant to to say you need to be doing absolutely every one of these things every day that's not realistic but i think that you know you can pick the ones that are important to you and prioritize those things and you know let's say for instance meditation if that's you know you can't quite get to it every day that's okay you know you can think about okay, this weekend I'm gonna go back to this thing that I know uh, will will help me kind of move me toward that goal. Um, or, you know what, this weekend I'm gonna cook myself a healthy meal that I know makes me feel good. Um, so this is not meant to say, you must be doing every one of these things. Um, but um, these can, can be kind of a framework and something to pick and choose from. Let me know down in the comments if you have any other healthy habits that have been really helpful for you along the way. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.